Arriba! Welcome as the World Cup fever is upon us around the world. It's a world-class battle for the Swift X Formula One World Championship. Bienvenida in, a, in a Mexico Grand Prix for round 14 here at the Autodrama Hermanas Rodriguez in Mexico City. Sponsored, of course, by a fantastic crew there at NordVPN. It's the 12th clash between these two drivers and has never been more at stake. Jasper Ten Hacken is in the lead, but Emir Dokovic is very close second. Mexico City, of course, founded by the Anzacs in 1930, 1325, of course, the oldest capital of the Americas and the largest Spanish speaking on the planet. 21 million people reside in these parts. It's colorful, it's vibrant, and it's noisy. And that, well, 140,000 taxi cabs over Mexico make it the largest taxi cab fleet in the world. And of course, uh, they're home to the FIFA Cup. But I just mentioned the FIFA Cup, of course, before Mexico will be hosting that one back in 2026. The second shortest track on the Formula One calendar. I already mentioned, of course, about those famous and the fastest speed record, 372 kilometers per hour, set by Valtteri Bottas. As we get primed and ready to go, so we've got five lights, track is live, and we are away. It's looking like a great start there for Rom Will Cassin. It's a great start there from Emir, immediately sliding past Luke Franklin, losing a little bit of time. Lock up into B7, jostling and down the field. You can see other drivers say Hardwick, Cook, all fighting for position. And Kassen managed to get away quite cleanly using those softs right out the gate best they can. So Cook and Hardwick are fighting for the 10th position. Kassen's got a pretty strong getaway. Durikovic has also Franklin, who's dropped down into P4. And as it stands, there's a lot of jostling down lower in the pack as Erlinghauser in the McLaren trying to fight alongside Tembrinka for the race position. And as they have to go wide, they are just behind, and that he cannot really be making those risky moves. There he goes, you can see behind that Locke and Cook are themselves battling. They cannot take a second in these early laps to break. Races to go. Sponsored by NordVPN, you're gonna need a VPN at the moment. Look this race back up, and this exciting fun overtaking opportunities, but believe it or not, uh, at the moment, 17 drivers still in this one, Ben. They survived two laps. And now drivers are just wondering if they can place the car. Oh, looks like they came together a little bit. There's wheel bumping, a little bit of contact between the Alpine and the Papaya car of the McLaren. Shelton having to go wide, yield, give the space, and eventually will have to concede that position to Hardwick heading into the second set. Showing lap four, we're lap three. Close enough to it. Well, it'll be four right now. Click it over. And there it is. So the Aston Martin driver still leading with the fastest lap. Very, very quick. But of course, he's on those soft tires. How long can they last? with Noah, and uh, that's what's happened before in the past. We've seen it, and all that bridle's brewing at the moment. Further up there, Peter Locke, of course, to let it cook, is making a run. They've deemed it. Go, 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 Ben. Wow, they're tough here in Mexico. And Jasper at the moment's uh, pretty much happy to sit there behind there, isn't he, Ben? Just to sit there and pay your body's time there. He's got the ERS, the DRS, and he's got all those goodies at his disposal. He's also got Toto Wolf back in the pit lane there. Maybe throwing some Bose headphones or maybe gifting him Bose headphones for Christmas. At the moment, he's going to make a run on the Merc down the main straightaway. He's got the DRS activation, sixth gear, seventh gear. Lenny's going to make a run. Here we go. It should be easy peasy. Welcome to Lenny Cooktown. Alpha Tori up into P4. And I think they're one of the and 57 points. He sounded cool, calm, and collective, didn't he, in that post race interview during the qualifying but i guarantee you right now he's going to want to try to defend off the flying silver bullet of the mercedes that's about off p2 you keep your call long and whatever wizardry they're cooking up in that alpha tarry it's certainly working they've got to run absolutely to the limit here but it's proving that it is working magic because they're before... taking a few shots at tequilas who's going to take a shot at tequila yes but ten hacker now on the back of imar Turkovic. And I'm behind if he doesn't get the job done soon. Lenny Cook's in town. I'll tell you what, he's cooking up a storm, isn't he, in P4. section here, and all of them trying to bunch up and pack up together. It's not quite going to be an easy swing for Tanak, and he's not out for the count by any stretch, but by no means is he having it easy. Yeah, it ain't over yet. Final couple of corners before we go into lap 10. And the battle's brewing here, and Will does go in, so that will free up Imar to lead this race. Imar Djokovic, second in the championship, now leading in Mexico City. Down there for the engineers. 
at the uh, Alpha Toro. Looking strong at the moment. Third, first and third. And uh, obviously surrounding the silver bullet there of Jasper Ten Hacken. Teamwork at play. Bullies in the battleground here at Mexico City. Thomas Hardwick going for it, mate. And let's also bring Joshua Bashford up there and Mike Klein into play. So battles all over the place. It's a lock of trading that position back with Hardwick reasserting P7 before the second sector. And you really Jasper's looking forwards. Jasper's looking backwards. And Jasper's on a big, big pressure, big time here. As Will puts the fastest lap in after his pit stop, of course. But it's 3.5 seconds down the road from Thomas, who's making a, a battle once again on Peter Lock. DRS going to try and use it to reassert positions. Going to be aiming around the outside, but Timbrinka trying to keep that inside line isn't going to be enough from Korsgaard just having the speed advantage and taking the position back. But say, Timbrinka can join his here teammate. Mexico City, you park them in the garage or not? Don't be parking those ones in the garage, guys. We'll see them on the track here for ultimately more laps to go. Look at that Will battling it with uh, Peter Lock there and Thomas Hardwick. Yeah, but look at his recharge lights. He's burnt everything. Oh, Aston Martin's going to keep you a little bit of a smile on your face there, Ben. If you can make a stick around the outside into turn one. I think he does, Ben. There you go, mate. Just about bit of British held pride there. Right on the edge of grip. You can see how close... But at the moment, Lenny's settling at the moment in P2. And look at that. They're dropping Jasper. Jasper's now 2.9 seconds down the road there from that Alpha Tori statement, setting a statement here in Mexico City. It's going to be a pile-up at the back of the field. Four cars make contact. Bashford, Kloss, De Boer, Shelton, I think it looked like. All of them coming together. And that is going to be serious damage and the bottom end of the field. For the FIFA World Cup. But don't about that one right now. Worry and focus about this. Because this is pit stop time here. And Luke is also in from P6. So there's the medium runners. How far can the hards go now, Ben? Contestant. And he's championship leader. And, well, that's a 21-odd sec pit stop. And that at the moment, Jasper Ten Hag is 26 seconds down the road. And I'd have to say he's in big, big trouble if he doesn't get some sort of strategy call here. Or the rain, perhaps, lurking in the background. That's about 22 seconds. Now, his gap is about to Lenny Cook. Lenny Cook, his teammate, should be able to clear the Red Bull in P4. Let's see how well AlphaTauri have planned their perfect strategy this evening. Sorry, Alpine and the Red Bull are right behind him. Jasper needs to hold him off at the moment. He's got the best boots in town. Considering to them, there's his penalties, but that's going to be stress. Stress. Did I mention stress? Absolutely stress for the Mercedes driver. Back around. I'd have to say, Will has to pull off the uh, miracles in town to hold this one off, but we've seen, we have seen the Aston Martins do a brilliant job here during qualifying. Can they deliver the results during the race? For the battle for P12 uh, and 13, which you remember as well, too, in a, in a, a long race, it's 22 or 36. This could potentially be a battle for points paying position, so keep with it, and I'd love to see this battle. There you go, as I said, that's going to be Cassin in the pit. Bang, 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 bang. He may very well have to tuck in by home cause guard. There it is, so it'll take, it'll sell off a P7 right now, but he's got tires and he's got pace. And those are really the main things that you need in order Still to get... a bottle, isn't he? Because he's uh, worming his way up to a, another race victory, which would be, if he gets it done, seven wins for the season. And he only did nine races. Not too bad. Uh, it will be ten races, of course. Seven out of ten. Ain't bad, as they say. Still resume P9. P10. Look at the battle right now. Thomas on the outside. Is it going to be enough, Ben? Is it going to be enough? He's just going to be able to squeeze it, but that is... And then the little letterbox opens, and then bingo. Uh, well, guess what? Christmas come early, perhaps, for the Red Bull. He's going to go full draft. Alpine's going to go full defensive. 208 miles an hour. He's going to have a great... And again, Hobbit is going to be going full DRS and ERS battle. So the Alpine using all of its battery to keep on the tail of the Red Bull here. We're going to be uh, taking some tequila shots later, aren't we? Fiesta, Fiesta, Fiesta. And I tell you what, Peter Locke is not giving up on this one. Yeah, so they're going to continue to fight against each other and see what they can get away Mediums. with. He didn't sound very confident during him in the uh, post-race interviews for qualifying, but he set a bank uh, down there. And his main contestant in the championship, Jasper, P3. Oh, my driver of the day. Helping his team out, holding Jasper at bay, 
and gaining 14 positions to be in P2 on the championship. Hopefully, spraying the bubble stuff with his teammate. Situation that right now, Jasper Tenhaken basically needs. Got this constant pressure from behind. His lap line and is running on the mediums, but that advantage is kind of waning. We're seeing a little bit of squirreliness under the throttle. We're also seeing the clouds roll over a little bit. Or at least not yet, because he's gonna have to, to throw something. He throws it down the inside. But Lapalainen has the superior line, he has the compound advantage, and he has, heading into Sector 2, the position. Then I can sideways, final corner, he's bottled it! No! He's dropping down to no! P5! Passon's gonna take it in the final corner! Oh! He's lost the position! Just the pressure mounting way too hard, and it clearly... Benjamin, I had a little bit of lift in your voice, mate. You are stoked, aren't you? I'm taking you out to some tacos later. <laughs> well, it's just you don't see that. You you don't see someone bottling in the front. That because you're supposed to put the steering wheel back into the car, but he'll shake the hands, and the man is back. The Dane is back. The trophy's back. Congratulations, Mexicano! And carnival time is yours.